Catherine from Engage You Cumbria again and welcome back. Today we thought we'd do something a little bit different. Uh, whilst this channel is all about you guys shaping and developing this and giving us ideas, one of our viewers has written in and said could they know a little bit more about myself and Claire. So we thought uh, using no one else better than Alfie to do a mini interview on us. So we hope you find it interesting. There may be some tips and guidance that you can use on through this as well. Um, so sit back and enjoy, and I'm gonna hand you over to Alfie. Alfie. All right, so whilst we're all dealing with this isolation situation differently, we are going to hear first time from Catherine and Claire who launched this channel to support other people. I'm going to ask them a few questions about how this isolation has been affecting them and how they are coping. Question one. Given we have spent a few weeks in isolation, how is it affecting you, Catherine? Thanks, Alfie. Um, how is it affecting me? So I'm going to call. I'm going to call. This has really been a roller coaster for me, for various reasons, both professionally and personally. So in a roller coaster of what's been happening, a roller coaster of being out of control, or feeling of being out of control, a roller coaster of my emotions as well. So it started very much about losing business, which really quite upset me because I'm, I'm really passionate and I love my job. So that really affected me quite, uh, you know, quite hard. Um, no doubt missing my family and friends. That's been really, really difficult. They're spread all over the country. And I was just used to getting in the car when I, when I wanted to and going and visiting them. So that's been really difficult. And actually emotionally as well, I think I've been quite surprised about how emotional I've been at times, not all the time, because I'm pretty resilient and I'm a pretty positive person. Um, yeah, that's me. Right, uh, Claire, how about you? Hi, yeah, thanks, Alfie. I'm a little bit similar to Catherine in that um, it's affected me with regards to my own business. So um, we've kind of had to close the door to our training centre and think about other ways that we can work. Um, and I also work for another company and so they've been kind of thinking of other ways to work so it's quite challenging in that you don't know what's going to happen in your day um, and where the next thing is coming from. Um, on a personal level I go back to Doncaster quite a lot so it's been very difficult for me to not be able to go back there and to have to change how I interact with people really um, and I'm a really sociable kind of character so even though it's nice to see people on Zoom and things like this um, these different types of platforms um, I very much like the face-to-face -face interaction with students or my family and friends and that sort of thing so I think that's been the biggest change for me I think over the last few weeks. Okay, um, question two. This is one of the questions that Catherine suggested in her reflection piece on our last session. So what have you been doing well this week Claire? Um, what have I been doing well this week? So um, well I've been walking the dogs every day and it's been really lovely to see um, people out as families and people out walking so I've really enjoyed that so that's a, a good thing for the week for me um, and I think as a personal trainer you become reliant on your own training methods and your own things and you're in your own head all of the time and it's very hard to motivate yourself when you're not teaching other people as well. So this week um, I've been using the Peloton app myself to do um, classes and be motivated in the home. So I've been moving the spin bike around the house to put it in front of the television and, you know, changing the living room round so I can push the sofa out of the way. So yeah, those things have been good for me this week to kind of motivate my own self and my own mind. How about you, Catherine? Thanks, Alfie. So what have I been doing well? Um, well, I've been eating well, and I don't mean eating healthy food. I mean, I've been eating too much, um, and chocolate seems to be in my fridge too much of the time. So I've been eating well. Um, so I do, I have been mindful that I have been eating too much chocolate. So the other thing that I've been doing well is I have been keeping to my exercise routine. 
So getting outside, running, walking. I even got on the bike for the first time this year because the weather's been so much nicer. Um, and that's, I'm quite, um, I say I'm quite hard on myself, particularly in terms of setting goals. So I did set myself a goal to run six miles with my husband. Um, he blew me away. I only did four. So I did get a little bit hard on myself. But one thing that I do try and do is when I have been hard on myself to pick myself up, and I did do this well, was just think of one way that I can learn for next time. Um, so I've, I've been trying to ask myself that question when I felt that I haven't done something quite right. Um, I've still been talking to people, which is really good. So I'm happy with um, picking up the phone, using Zoom, with um, some colleagues and clients that I work with, but particularly family and friends, I've still been talking to them. So I have been doing too bad. Okay. Uh, question three, what has been difficult for you this week, Catherine? Okay, um, so I just mentioned the running. That was a personal goal that I'd set myself um, and, I, and I didn't achieve that. What else has been difficult? I think I mentioned at the outset, at the beginning of this interview, that I've been quite sad. Um, I did a shop just at the, um, at the end of last week and I actually found myself being quite emotional. So I think that's been really difficult. Maybe it's the length of time that we've now been in this. Um, my husband and I were fortunate enough to go on holiday just before all this started, before the lockdown. So we went into isolation just to check we were both okay sooner than everybody else had to. So we've been in lockdown, I think, for nearly four weeks now. Um, and that's a long time. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think I've got to that feeling sad stage. I um, mentioned about being hard on myself. Um, so, yeah, I think it's the emotions for me. Yeah, thanks, Alfie. Right, uh, Claire, how about what's been difficult for you this week? Um, so a couple of things. Um, I think the first thing is uh, my my son has autism and ADHD, and when all of this started, I kind of asked him to come here and stay in Cumbria with me, um, but he wouldn't because he wanted to be near his girlfriend. So he's now finding it hard because he can't see his girlfriend either. Um, so it's very difficult kind of seeing him upset and not being able to actually get to him, even though I can reach out to him by this platform, physically not getting to him. Um, and he wants his 21st birthday record player early um, because he feels like he's not going to get it. So I have to keep, keep saying to him that he can't have it, which is difficult as well. Um, on a business front, um, I'm quite, a, I'm pro probably an overthinker. Um, so what I've been looking at with regards to our own business and changing it to interactive online um, teaching, I've really found it difficult this week as to making a decision whether to go over to that method for our mental health courses, um, just because I don't want to appear like I'm taking advantage of the situation. And because I'm a bit of an overthinker, I don't want to upset anybody. Um, so I found that really a very difficult decision to make. Um, I've, I've still not entirely there with that decision um, so it's difficult because we have to have a balance of keeping the business alive um, but also doing it in the right manner um, so I found that particularly difficult this week. Okay um, one last question to you both if there's one piece of advice that you have used that, that has worked well for you that you might give to those watching what would it be? Claire let's come to you first. Um, well, I like to give out this piece of advice anyway, but more so than ever, it kind of stands now. And that's to understand that how someone feels is how they feel. And we should all respect that, even if we don't feel the same. So I've heard a lot of people saying, you know, that people should be more positive at this time and not as negative and, and down and sad. And I've kind of tried to say that that's OK if that's how they feel, because this is the first time that a lot of humans, a lot of people have dealt with such adversity, um, 
such trauma, um, worrying times financially, personally, within their families. And so it's okay. It, it is actually okay to be negative. It's lovely to be positive. It's lovely to have a positive feel and spin on everything. But if you feel negative and sad, that's okay too. And we should all respect if that's how someone feels, that's how they feel. And what we should do is support it rather than be judgmental of it. So that's my piece of advice for the week. And Catherine, what about yours? Thanks, Alfie. Um, I think it probably links a little bit to what Claire was saying, and I've mentioned it as well, and probably through the other broadcasts we've done. Sharing our emotions and our thoughts is really, really important. Um, I'm quite lucky because I've got a lot of friends and family that I can do that with, and, I, and I'm really grateful for that. I suppose if you're isolated with friends and or family, you've got more of an opportunity to talk about those things. and. And again, it links into what Claire was saying, make sure that you talk about how you're feeling, what's gone well, what hasn't gone well, and, and expose those feelings so you can openly talk about them. It is obviously harder for those people that are isolated entirely on their own, um, and that's difficult. So my, my suggestion would be, pick up the phone in the first instance, if they haven't got friends or family that they feel they can talk to. Um, I've noticed even more so, there are more um, support groups, you know, whether it's Age UK, whether it's Samaritans, the local councils, whatever area you're in, they have their own emergency numbers. So I think we, we all should be utilising the support that's around us. It might not be right, you know, immediately around us. You might have to search a little bit further. But I think share your feelings, pick up the phone and just talk. There was, Alfie won't remember this, there was Bob Hoskins. He did the BT advert years ago. And he used to say, it's good to talk. So I'll... That, that would be my tip. Thanks, Alfie. Right. Um, thank you to Catherine and Claire for that insight and some really useful tips for everyone. If anybody has some further questions that they would like to ask them on this isolation and their expertise, please email them into our email address below. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick up on actually on Alf, what Alfie just said, and I think, um, and I'll echo what you said, Alfie, it's a really good comment you've made. But Claire and I are around, you know, we're sat doing some work, but we're also available on our email address. Um, so please email any other questions. If you feel that you haven't got anyone else to reach out to or that you want to ask us more about our expertise, myself as a personal development coach and Claire with her Better Bodies UK business as well. Um, so let, let me just, a uh, bit of a reminder. So this channel is very much about developing this into something that you're going to add you know, gain benefit from and, and get value from whilst we're through going through this isolation. Um, quick reminder, Alfie set the Kids Lego um, challenge on our last broadcast. So we are dying to see some of those Lego models of something that represents your isolation. And it might be a sport you're playing, it might be your house. Um, get the models coming in. So we want a photo, your name and your age and send them into our email address. Um, Alfie is going to be our top judge, so get them in for Tuesday. And there is a prize because the lovely Claire has very, very kindly donated an Easter hamper. And we'll do our best to get that to the winner some way um, and at some point. So just a massive thank you first to the viewer that suggested this. We hope it's been interesting and useful. Alfie, awesome job on the interviewing. Thank you very much. Thanks again to Claire. Um, and, and we'll leave you um, with the same message as uh, stay safe. Have a lovely, lovely Easter as much as you can, all being a little bit strange. And we'll see you back next week. Take care, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.